Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and today I want to show you how to customize the checkout page um, for your WooCommerce powered site. Um, specifically, uh, I want to show you how to eliminate um, fields that you don't need on the checkout page to s streamline the process, make it easier for your customers to purchase your products. Um, right now I'm out on our demo site, our WooCommerce demo site, digital uh, downloaddemo.com and I have the Mistyle theme installed and um, what I want to do is in this example I want to remove this company name field right here because it's I really don't need it uh, and I just want to shorten this checkout page um, so I'm going to show you how to do that in this video and I'll show you how to do it the right way using a child theme uh, and in the child theme uh, functions.php file uh, doing it this way will ensure that any customizations you make to the checkout page or any other pages on your uh, WooCommerce site will not be uh, wiped away when you upgrade to the latest version uh, of your theme. So, uh, for example, if I were to make all these changes to the parent theme, uh, parent files of the Mistyle theme, and then I upgraded when a new version of Mistyle comes out, all my changes would be wiped away. But we're going to avoid that in this tutorial by first installing and activating a child theme and then uh, putting a PHP or a um, functions.php file within the child theme and that's where we'll edit or we'll make our changes to eliminate fields such as company name and any fields that we wanted to. We could eliminate, we could also add fields, we could change the title so that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Uh, I will have follow-up videos that show you how to do other specific things in terms of modif modifying it, but right now we're going to start by creating a child theme for uh, a Mistyle child theme and uh, we'll go from there. So if I log into the WordPress admin and we go to appearance and then editor, it'll take us to the style sheet for the Mistyle theme, style.css. Um, but to make updates to the uh, checkout page uh, specifically to remove fields or add fields or change labels we need to modify not the style.css but the functions.php so this is the file that we want to um, add our modifications to but we don't want to do it to this this is the parent file we have not yet created a child theme uh, so we need to do that first because we don't want to put updates in here uh, so that because if we did they would be erased or overridden every time we upgraded to a new version of the Mistyle theme. So step one is we need to create a child theme first. Alright, so to do that um, we need to go out to our cPanel from our hosting account and go to File Manager. And I'm going to go over this quick but if you go to UploadWP.com we have an in-depth tutorial on how to create this child theme. Um, uh, so check that out. But I will follow those steps. I'm just going to go a little faster so we can get to customizing the checkout page. So I'm on the file manager on my hosting account and I'm going to scroll down and find digital uh, downloads demo.com there it is and just open that up and then I'm going to go to WP content and from there I'm going to click on themes and here you'll see the active theme is our Mistyle theme so we need to create a new folder and we need to name it Mistyle child Mistyle dash child and create new folder. All right, so that's going to be our child theme. So now uh, that we've created the folder, what we need to do is open uh, Notepad plus uh, plus, and you can download that for free if you just Google it. And what we need to do is create our uh, style.css for the child theme. All right, so I already have it ready to go over here. I'm just going to copy it and paste it in. So I'm just going to paste that in and again if you go to uploadwp.com you can copy this exactly and, and uh, paste it into your notepad plus plus and do this exact same thing. Um, but uh, just to point out the things that, that need to be, that are important here are the theme name, Mistyle Child, and then the template uh, needs to uh, be the name of the theme, in this case Mistyle. Alright, so anyways, we have that ready to go. What I'm going to do is just um, down here I'm going to paste the actual CSS from the parent file. So if we go back into the WordPress admin and we go back to uh, the style.css parent, all right, click on that. Okay, this is style.css. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything 
underneath here. So as you can see, if I just scroll down a little bit, everything under here starting with index, I'm going to go ahead and highlight and copy all of it. And then we'll paste it into our um, new style.css that we're creating for the child theme. Okay, so once you have it all highlighted, go ahead and copy it. And then go back to uh, Notepad++ and starting at line 11, just go ahead and paste it all in. Alright, so now uh, we're just going to go ahead and save that. So go to File, Save As, and uh, find the place that you want to save it. Alright, and for the file name, name you have to name it style.css, all lowercase. Alright, and then go ahead and click Save. So now that we've created our style sheet for the child theme, so the next step would be to go back to our cPanel uh, hosting account and go to File Manager again. And here is the new Mistyle Child uh, folder that we created, so go ahead and open that up. And you'll see that it's empty, so we're going to go ahead and um, upload the new style.css that we just created. So if we go to okay, just go ahead and open, and it'll start uploading automatically, and you'll get the message here saying that it's complete. So that's been uploaded, and if we go back and take a look, if we go up one level and then click on Mistyle Child, you'll see there's our style sheet for this child theme. Okay. But we're not done yet. Now we need to add a functions.php file as well. Uh, we're going to do that basically the same way that we added the style.css. Alright, so if I go to go back into uh, Notepad++ and just open up a new one, I'm just going to uh, copy and paste this in again. So that's all it is. It's just a, a PHP open and an end tag and in between here is where we'll enter our custom uh, our custom functions uh, to uh, make the actual updates to the checkout page and any other uh, advanced functions that we want to make to um, our WooCommerce site. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and just save that. Uh, same way I'm going to save it as functions.php all right, name it exactly that, functions.php, and save it. And then I'm going to go back into um, our hosting account, File Manager. And I'm going to, uh, let me just show you where I'm at here. I'll go up one level. Again, I'm, I'm going to click on the Mistyle Child Theme folder and open that up. And there's our style sheet, but now we want to add our functions.php file. So I'm going to click Upload. Go ahead and find it. There it is. Open it. You'll see the message here that it's been completed. Go back. If I go up one level, I'll just show you that it's there. If, again, if I click on it. So now we have our style sheet and our functions.php. So if we go back to um, our, our demo site here and we log in to the admin, and if we go to uh, appearance and then themes, we need to go activate our child theme. So right now here's the parent theme, Mistyle, and if I scroll down you'll see the Mistyle child theme that we created right here. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. Okay, so now we're running our um, child theme. Everything's going to look the same, and, uh, but now the difference is when we make updates to this site, they'll be saved anytime we uh, upgrade to the latest version of the theme. We don't have to worry about it because we're making our customizations on the child theme and not on the actual parent theme. Okay, so I'm back on the uh, checkout page and now we can start customizing the checkout page. All right, so specifically I'm just going to show you quickly how to remove this field right here, company name. All right, so if we go into uh, the admin and go to appearance and editor, And you'll see uh, the theme that is selected is Mistyle Child. And here's the uh, style sheet for our child theme. It's exactly the same as the parent, but we could go ahead and make updates to this and uh, wouldn't be affected when we upgraded. 
Okay, so but we want to actually update this functions.php file to, because that controls this uh, the checkout page for WooCommerce. Uh, and I uh, just to point out, I'm using the Mistyle theme uh, in this example, but this works with uh, with any of the themes that you're using if your power if your site's powered by WooCommerce. All right, so I'm going to put my uh, uh, modification in between the open and the end PHP tags. So I, I already have it copied over here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and then paste it in. And all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this right here to say billing. And I'm going to change this to uh, billing company, billing underscore company. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and say or uh, update that file. Okay, and then if we go back out and take a look, uh, the company field should be company name field should be gone after I refresh the page. There you go. So I've just removed the company name field from the checkout page. I've done it the right way using a uh, child theme and uh, modifying the functions.php file located within my child theme to ensure that any updates I make to this page or any other of uh, the WooCommerce pages are saved when I upgrade my theme. So I'm going to come out with more videos uh, in the next couple of days on uh, how to edit uh, more details on editing the checkout page and as well as cart page and other pages uh, uh, the other WooCommerce pages so that you can really uh, customize uh, your site whether you use the Mistyle theme, the WooStore theme uh, or any of the uh, WooCommerce compatible themes this will give you more control over uh, the checkout process but I wanted to start by showing you the right way to do it uh, and that is by install or creating a child theme uh, and updating the peach uh, functions.php file within the child theme. So this is just to show you that it is possible. The next videos will show you more detail on actually customizing the uh, checkout page. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. Again, my name is Adam with UploadWP.com. We'll see you in the next one.